Why do I always have pimples? Pimples. Pimples. Ugh. Why do I always have pimples? I tried stuff at night. I tried scrubbing. Forget it. I used that stingy liquid stuff. And that prescription product says it could take weeks to work. <sighs> Don't get mad. Get Clearasil. Clearasil cream sucks up oil, then zaps pimples dry. The choice is clear. 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 The choice is clear. For clearer skin, the choice is Clearasil. Come on, kids, let's have an adventure. Wow, this wasn't here this morning. Look, Crystal. No, that's Bobby. This is Crystal. That's Mary Lou. <laughs> Ronald, this water makes music. Now we're playing by ear. <laughs> Come here, there's a McDonald's under our table. Sure, I thought we'd want lunch. Yeah. Ronald makes it. Let's go see what's under my bed. Okay. Magic. It was the best of times, it was the wampinest of times. It was just a regular school day that started out quiet, harmless, downright tender. But tenderness never lasts forever. And before we knew it, that day would take us to a place none of us thought we'd ever go again. All right, lecture's over. Oh, man, I can't believe we had to sit for a whole hour listening to Prickly talk about foot hygiene. And that had to be the grossest, most disgusting video of all time. That's all right, guys, because we've got a whole hour of recess to get over it. I don't know, TJ. All that foot talk kind of made me woozy. I think I'd better go see Nurse Kramer. <sighs> Poor guy. He'll be okay. Indeed. Beneath that quivering exterior beats a heart of steel. So what'll it be, guys? Kickball? Oh, yeah! No, no kicking. We gotta do something that takes my mind off feet. Why, then this would be an excellent time to try out my new croquet set. Cro what set? It's a British game. Very popular with the upper classes. Shall we? Hey, so we hit each other with these hammers? I think I'm gonna like this game. Oh, no. You use these mallets to shoot wickets. We just need to find a large, empty field to play on. That might be a bit of a problem. Oh man. There's no space anywhere. It seems my dream of playing the backyard game of Kings is not to be. Hey, wait. What about the old abandoned playground? Yeah, no one ever goes there. A brilliant idea. My dream is restored. Ah, uh, here she is, the old abandoned playground. Now this is more like it. No one's gonna bug us back here. Yeah, well, I'm not so sure. I forgot how eerie this place was. Indeed. All the terrible memories are flooding back to me. Oh, come on, guys. Don't tell me you're worried because of what happened last time. Yeah, they promised they wouldn't come out here anymore. I guess that's true. Excuse me, friends, but I understand the key to croquet enjoyment is to start a croquet game. You got it, Michael. What do we do? Everyone take a hoop, then spread out and put them in the ground. Yeah, and Gretch, Spinelli, take it from me. All you've got to worry about is getting your wicked stomp by yours true. Ah! 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 Nothing to worry about, huh? <laughs> There, small people. Any of you hungry? Because when I get out of here, I'm making kindergartner pancakes! Quiet, big kid! You know make pancakes. You in jail. But we didn't do anything. We're innocent croquet enthusiasts. Yeah, and I'll have you know that this goes against every rule of big kid kindergarten relations. That's right. Since the last incident, the old playground has specifically been designated big kid territory. Captain Sticky, you're in charge here. Tell him to let us go. Captain Sticky not in charge no more. You're not? Well, I demand to know who is. Me am in charge. Whoa. Oh, no. No way. Me, Chief Stinky. Chief Stinky? Never heard of you. Me new around here. Well, that explains it. See, Stinky, maybe where you come from, big kids deserve to be tied up. But at this school, we're nice. Big kids are lies. Not listen to big kids. What big kids? Oh, I we know, know what you're talking about. Oh, I don't care if those guys listen, Stinky. They already know me. 
Did you play with kindergartners? As a matter of fact, I did. We can't trick kindergartners. No, no. Just listen, Stinky, and you'll see. It was nothing like that. In fact, it was kind of beautiful. Although it started off pretty crummy. Sort of, in a way, I am a kindergartner. I'm one of you. And don't worry, I can vouch for all my friends here. They're a-okay. So how's about you let us go? No! Big kids lie! Big kids all bad! Pajama Boy, you watch Big Kids while Stinky think of Boom Boom! <laughs> boom Boom? What's that? Big kids get bad punishment! Like what? Something bad! Big Big Bad! That's okay, guys, because now that Stinky's not watching, Hector can let us go. Don't worry, Hector. We'll tie you up and make it look like we conked you on the head. No! Big kids stay right here! What's with you? I thought you were a nice kindergartner. I thought most of you were nice. Have you pint sized delinquents gone mad? Emma, Zed, Spencer, Jake, and yes, you too, little Hector. It seems you've forgotten who your friends are. That being the case, I believe I shall remind you. Fangirl, keep quiet! I will not! Because there was a day not so long ago when we let you into our lives when no one else would have you. That's right. Is it all coming back now? Well, in case it's not, allow me to elaborate. It was, for us big kids, going to be another carefree day of big kid fun. But then Miss Grokey appealed to our amazing big kid instincts for big... Oh, that I think about it, maybe we didn't want anything to do with you at first, and maybe TJ did get into a lot of trouble, but... The point is, we befriended you nonetheless. And I think it's only fair to expect the same friendship from you now. Sorry, Brain Girl, but Chief Stinky's scary. Stinky yeah, huge. Yeah, stinky yeah. huge. So big kid's bad. Boom. Yeah. This is unbelievable. Simply by being large, loud, and pungent, Chief Stinky has them completely intimidated. They'll do anything for him and nothing for us. Maybe, Gretchen, but maybe not. There's still one kindergartner I know who will help us. Who's that? My friend Tubby, of course. Tubby and I formed a friendship that will overcome any obstacle. Big kid, big kid. Big kid, stop talking about Tubby. Why, look. Here Tubby is now. Hello, Tubby. Tubby never met you. But of course you have. Don't you remember? Tubby not remember nothing. Oh, then I'd be happy to remind you. It was the day all other students looked forward to with great anticipation. But not me, because for me, it had always been a day of anguish. You remember that? We formed a friendship that will last forever. Tubby? Tubby? Tubby not know you! But I thought we would always be friends. Don't take it personally, Mikey. He is your friend. It's just too dangerous for him to admit it right now. Man, we tried sweet-talking him. We tried being their buddies. I don't know what else to do. Chief Sticky's leadership is so repressive that it completely overpowers their desire to help us. There's got to be some way we can get out of this. <laughs> 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 Sorry, guys, but it looks like there is no way out of this. We're getting a boom boom whether we like it or not. Yeah! Ah, feeling fresh and fit as a fiddle. Hi, Gus, where you been? Lying down in the nurse's office. Principal Prickly's foot care lecture made me kind of dizzy. It made me feel like throwing up. All right. Uh, say, have you seen TJ and the guys? Yeah, they went that way with Mikey's new croquet set. Thanks, corn chip girl. According to my trusty Beanie McWatch, I still have 45 minutes left of good old recess fun. Hey, guys! Guys? I guess they're not back here. But hey, Mikey's croquet set. Something bad happened here. Something very bad. Ah! Huh? <laughs> well, hey, little fella. Big kid, big kid! Ah! Get him! Ah! Me. We take you prisoner. Big kid step on kindergartner land. But the old playground is big kid land. Everybody knows that. Don't waste your breath, Gus. These kindergartners are ignoring every single playground treaty since the beginning of Third Street School. Quiet, red hat boy. Red hat boy? But that's TJ. You know TJ. <laughs> What's going on? I thought the kindergartners liked us. They did, Gus, but it's all different now. They become frightening little monsters. How come? Did they miss their nap? Worse, Gus. Much worse. It appears there's been a major upheaval in their kindergarten social order. <laughs> <laughs> Me, big cheese stinky. Me in charge now. You be quiet. <laughs> Chief Stinky? He's new in school. He seems to intimidate the other tots with his size as well as his smell. Give me bug! My bug! Give me bug! Me 
nap now. When we wake up, we kids get punishment. Mud pie massacre! <laughs> a mud pie massacre? I hate mud pie massacres. We gotta talk them out of it. Fat chance. They ain't listening. We reminded them all about when we were their peewee pals. And the time TJ hung out with them on recess. And the time I helped young Tubby win the kindergarten derby. Stinky doesn't care about any of that stuff, and he's in charge now. So it looks like we're gonna get massacred. Hey, big kids, be quiet. Chief Stinky, take his nap. Hector? Oh, no, not you, too. Look, it's me, your buddy Safety Man. You're no Safety Man no more. You bad big kid. And me, Pajama Boy. Your name is Hector, not Pajama Boy. Please stop, Safety Man. Not make Chief Stinky mad. If Stinky mad, Stinky knock Hector down. But you guys aren't happy like this. Somebody's got to stand up to him. That's not true. That wrong. Oh, yeah? Well, I've got a little story that just might change your mind. Me, sick of stories about how big kids nice to us. My story's not about that. It's not even about you. It's about me, when I was a kindergartner. Oh, kindergartner safety man? That's right. It all happened four long years ago. My family had just moved, and I was starting at a brand new school. Well, soldier, this will be your first day in a whole new kindergarten. I hope you're not nervous. Me not nervous. New kid guts make lots and lots of friends. <laughs> <laughs> Go get him, trooper. That's our Gus. Hey, you big kid! We like your school. We happy to be here. Heads up! Got it, huge kid. Coming back at ya. Hey, good throw, kindergartner kid. He's cute. Hey, for a five-year-old, he's pretty cool. Surprisingly you don't see cool. That too he is often. cool. Well, son, here we are. Your new kindergarten room. Would you like us to walk you in? No thanks, mom and dad. We got it under control. That's your spirit. Grrr. I'll pick you up after class. Gotcha. <laughs> ooga, ooga, ooga! Me, Gus! Me, new! Me, Gus! Me, new! Kindergarten, kindergarten! Yay! Uh, me got right room? Oh, you have the right room, honey. This is the kindergarten class, and welcome to Third Street School. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. You're telling me that Finster was our kindergarten teacher and that she was nice? <laughs> Nothing personal, man, but you were cool. I must say, Gus, your tale seems a little far-fetched, especially considering the fact that you didn't even move to our school until this year. Are you sure about that? How many of you really remember kindergarten? What big kid wants to remember that he was, ugh, a kindergartner? I think I permanently erased it from my brain. All I remember is my traumatic running of the kindergarten derby. That's what I thought. Take my word for it. Before I moved here in the fourth grade, I moved here for a while in kindergarten, too. But Gus... Hey! Big kid, stop gabbing! Tell more story! Hector sort of wondering what happened next. Very well, Hector. Like I was saying, it was my first day of kindergarten at Third Street School. As you've already noticed, things are a little different back then. But not just with Miss Finster, and not just with me, but with these guys, too. And of course, little Jeffrey remembered to thank his great Aunt Agnes for the brand new velvet play suit. He sat quietly and ate all of his kidney pie. And that night, he cleaned his room extra thoroughly in hopes that his next birthday would be just as special as this one. The end. Ah, oh, wasn't that a fun story? All right, now it's time for a snack. Yay! Whoa, 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 whoa! Snack, snack, snack! Juice! Goodness gracious, you little monkey. Apparently your last kindergarten failed to teach you proper classroom etiquette. But that's all right. You'll learn. Now, please line up with your classmates. Single file, children. Yes, Miss Finster. One snack apiece. Take them outside. Be sure to use a napkin. <laughs> Enjoy your snacks, chew them thoroughly, and dispose of your trash in the receptacle. Don't worry, little Gus. I'm sure before long you'll fit in just like all the other children. Boy, I sure hope not. Hi, kid. My name's Gus. What's your name? Um... Okay... Morning, girlies! Like... Uh... Hmm, very strange. Very more stranger indeed. Hi, Red Hat Boy. Mm -hmm. I'm Gus. What's your name? Uh, Theodore Jasper Detweiler. Theodore Jasper? I'll call you TJ. TJ sounds more neater. And it's two of the letters that I know. TJ. Hey, I think I like that. Nifty. 
So anyway, TJ, I got a question for you. How come is it that nobody in this kindergarten class acts like kindergartners? You know, girl, me crazy, yeah! Ah, please don't. This don't make no sense. What kind of kindergartners are you? I've been in free kindergartens already, Now I've never seen nothing like this before. Almost like kids are scared or something. What are you scared of, Miss Finster? No, Miss Finster likes us to be quiet, but that's not how come we are. How come then? Ah! It's Mikey! Run for your life! Run for my life? That's crazy! Hi there, Mikey! My name is Gus. I just moved into town and... You get Mikey snap! Oh! Hee <laughs> hee Well done, Chief Mikey. Now back to the palace. <laughs> In you go, your highness. Tangle with Chief Mikey. That's right. Now go behave yourself away from me. Who are you? I am Wandle. Wandle? Not Wandle. 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 Wandle helps protect us from Chief Mikey. Chief Mikey's mean. He sure is. Tell him about what you heard, Randall. One time, Chief Mikey sat on a toddler just for kicks. <gasps> sat on a toddler? That's just plain evil. Yes, it is. Lucky for you, I wandle him here to watch out for you. You see, Chief Mikey make me Dwight his twicycle, he make me guard his powers, but I could talk to Mikey and keep him from sitting on you. Remember, kids, Chief Mikey is a dangerous, dangerous meanie, but I could keep you safe. Just do what I say and everything will be okay. Randall, you're the bestest friend a kid could have. I know, I know. Now scat, all of you, and behave yourselves. Chief Mikey told me if you don't, he's gonna pull all your hair and kick you. You two, go keep quiet somewhere. I'm gonna go in and try to convince Chief Mikey not to whip you to pieces. Thanks, Randall. Come on, Gus. Let's find a place to be quiet. Hang on there, TJ. But Mikey will hear us. He'll smush us. Come on. No! <gasps> oh! What are you saying, Gus? What I'm saying is, maybe I will get sitted on. But so what? Kindergarten's supposed to be a crazy place where you get messy and make noises and act like animals. Growl, wow! This is the very last chance we get to be like that. And there's no way I'm letting some mean kid take that away from me. So I'm gonna go in there and tell Chief Mikey I'm not putting up with his meanness. Even if it means I do get sitted on. Now who's going with me? TJ? All right, then I'll do it all on myself. Ah. Open up the door right now! Ah. You better go away. Ah. I'm telling you, Mikey, those kids hate you. All they ever do is talk about how big and fat you are. Ah. It's a good thing you got me looking out for you, telling you all this stuff, or they get away with it for sure. Uh, you mind passing one of those juice boxes? Now it all makes sense. There's only one thing to do. I'm going in. Ow! That there is the most bravest thing I've ever seen anyone ever do. Ow, 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 Oh, ow, no! Ow, Mikey sat on a new boy's head! Oh, no, he didn't, because Mikey wouldn't sit on no one. Hey, Mikey, come on out! Ow, 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 ow! You could stop saying ow, Randall. Mikey's not even hurting you. What are you talking about? He sure was, because he's big and mean. Everyone, you all saw him steal the new boy snack. And yesterday, before last, he took my jump rope. He once kicked my pile of rocks. Yeah! yeah. 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 Huh. So what do you say about that? What do I say? I say it was all a terrible misunderstanding. Hey, Mikey, give me a piggyback ride. Enjoy, my little friend. You see, Randall told me you all made fun of me behind my back. That you said you hated me. That hurt my feelings and made me very, very angry. Hey, where'd you get the fancy voice? This is my normal voice. Randall told me to use that mean voice to make you more scared of me. You really should admit the truth, Randall. It'll make you feel much better. Oh, well, why I did it. It was the perfect plan. All I had to do was convince Mikey everyone was afraid of him, that I was his only friend. Snacks, lunches, power. It could have all been mine. By sixth grade, I could have been king. I would have ruled the playground. <laughs> oh, if my plan had only succeeded. You've been a very naughty little boy, but I forgive you. Uh, you don't gotta be scared of Mikey no more. So let's have some kindergarten fun.
tough. Why, yes, you are, Spinelli. But I think I smashed your doll. Mama, feed me. I'm hungry. Mm -hmm. uh, feed yourself, girly. I'm fighting. All right, who else wants a piece of me? Observe, Ashley. Mud, when mixed with compounds of different viscosities, such as this peanut butter and this jelly, makes a truly superior goo. the way a kindergarten oughta should be. Are you crazy? This is bad, this is very, very bad. I'm telling, Miss Finster, Miss Finster, Miss Finster, quit. What is it, Randall? What, the kids, they're out of control. <gasps> My stars. Children, children, stop it this instant. Remember your manners. You must be quiet. You must remain clean. You must Uh-oh. Why, I, why, but how? Who? It was the new boy, Miss Finch. That was the new boy. This all happened because of him. Oh, the new boy, you say? Yes, ma'am. He's been a very bad influence. Thank you, Randall. I never realized what a helpful little boy you were. And you, Griswold. I knew from the moment you came into my classroom that you were trouble. I tried being nice to you. I tried being nice to you all. But I see that approach doesn't work. So, Griswold, you're coming with me. Where to, ma'am? To the principal's office. That's right, children. Let this be a lesson. When you don't sit quietly and do nothing, bad things happen. Randall, keep an eye on these... these miscreants. With pleasure. You just watch what happens to your little friend Gus, and then you'll change your tune. If Muriel P. Finster has anything to say about this, kindergartners at Third Street School will never act like savages again. Oh, why, oh, well, you heard the lady. I'm in charge here. Behave yourselves and keep it quiet. Woe is me. Our new friend Gus is doomed. Oh, yeah, Mikey? Well, Gus didn't give up on us, so I'm not giving up on him. Today, for the first time, I found out what it's like to be a real kindergartner, and I like it. If it wasn't for Gus, we'd all still be scared of Mikey. We'd be quiet and polite, and that's just wrong. Yeah. New boy Gus was willing to get himself in trouble for us. And I don't know about you, but I think I'd be a crummy boy if I didn't do just as much for him. Now, who's going to help me? I will. I will. Count me in. Include me as well. Tender. Hey, 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 I'm in charge here, and you in big, big trouble. Like, no, you don't. Come on, everybody. We lock him in the pallet. Whoa, to whoa. the pallet! What now, Theodore? It's TJ, Vince. And listen up, because, guys, I got a plan. Just like I figured, the big kids are all in class. We'll slip in undefected. Is this Principal Prickly's office? Gretchen, allow me to verify. Prickly gets here, I'll see we make an example of that boy. He can't. Oh, we're not just over. Bingo. He's all alone in there, awaiting his fate. All right, phase two. Vince? I got it, Teed. <laughs> Mikey, Spinelli. Willing and able, TJ. <laughs> hey, are you okay? Whoa, I really am tough. What are you doing here? I'm busting you out. Oh, Principal Prickly, there you are. What's going on, Miss Fenster? This better be important. It's the principal. I can't leave. When they come in, they're going to expect me to be sitting in that chair. Oh, don't you worry. There'll be someone sitting in that chair. I'm telling you, sir, my entire class is acting like savages. And it's all because of that sneaky little hoodlum, Gus Griswold. Griswold? The new boy? But that's impossible. You have the most well-mannered class I've ever seen. One little child couldn't change them all in one morning. No, oh, just you wait till you see him, sir. Wait till you see him. He's right here, sir. A sneaky, brilliant junior criminal. What the? <gasps> Mama, I made a mess. Please change me. Griswold! <laughs> you realize we're all going to get in trouble for this. That's okay, Gus. It's worth it. Because the way I see it, I just made the best bunch of friends a kid could ever have. You say you got and the rest is history. I had to move away again the next day, but me and TJ and the guys really did become the best friends ever. <laughs> that beautiful story, safety man, makes Hector happy. Hector!
I like to be happy. <laughs> but you can't be all that happy, Hector. Not living like this. I mean, it seems to me if anyone's really prisoners here, it's you guys. Safety man a good point. So I say, forget about helping us big kids. Say what? After we get massacred, we can wash up and leave. But this is their kindergarten. This is your home. And those are your friends. If you ever want to be happy here, you've got to stand up for them. And stand up for yourself. You're right, safety man. Gabby, Cindy, Cap and Sticky. Have to stop you. Have to make you happy again. To wake up, Chief Stinky. Oh, no. Thank you, Pajama Boy. You wake up, Chief Stinky. Chief Stinky, teach you a lesson and knock you over. <laughs> So tough? We're not scared no more! Let the big kids go! Thanks, Hector! Hector Fang, safety man! We be happy! We have fun! We play! Well, there they are. Wild, crazy, and back to normal. It's Perfectly terrified. That's what I say. Let's get out of here. Guess I gotta say, that was some quick thinking in there. You faked him out, man. Yeah, and what an imagination. Me, scared of Mikey? And me, a frightening ogre? Yeah, like I could have been some wimpy guy who wasn't the leader of our group. <laughs> now I know he made that story up. <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny, little oh, guy. funny. <laughs> Great story. Uh... Of course, guys. I just made the whole thing up to get us out of trouble. Well, duh. Come on, guys. There's still a little recess left. Let's go have some big kid fun. Perhaps we can still salvage my croquet set. Sounds Let's good to me. Let's go. Hey, Miss Finster. There go TJ and the gang. Shall I spy on them? Yes, Randall, you do that. And Randall, keep an extra close eye on Griswold for me, will you? Uh, yes, ma'am. Someday, Griswold. Someday you'll slip up and I'll get even. Oh, yes. I'll get even. Yeah.